Hello, well, everyone. This is our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for February 27th, 2025. After a five-day pause, Kilauea resumed erupting from its summit on Tuesday night and stopped on Wednesday morning after just under 13 hours of eruption. Uh, what was really special about this episode was very high lava fountains compared to previous ones. This time, we've reached a peak of 600 feet or 180 meters high which is above that western rim of the uh, main caldera. So made some spectacular views and images. Um, lots of Pele's hair and pumice was thrown up onto the crater rim, um, while also flooding the crater floor up to 80% full of the new lava, as you see here. Um, this is a KW camera from the west rim of the crater, looking down at the day of eruption and the most recent night as well, where we've had some crustal overturning of the ponded lava, where it's the thickest and most fluid there, as well as some ooze flows occurring in the northeast part of the crater floor, uh, originally unconnected from the main fountain inflows. Looked at it in a thermal view. Here's an F1 camera showing that outburst and that march across the crater floor, as well as these ooze ups on this northeast side as lava flows from underneath the crust to emerge in that area over there. And one last time lapse to share in our summary this week. This is a B2 camera that I've stabilized a little bit for the flow that came across and then continued to move and settle a little bit within the last day as well. So you see that main pulse there with no major movement of the crater floor as a whole in between. All of this is happening still within the main caldera within the Halemakumau crater and the vents at the southwest part of the crater. This map is a few weeks old, but the locations are still the same. And the extent of lava is also the same here, We've just gotten a bit thicker. If we look at the ground tilt over the last month at Kilauea Summit, the summit's in blue here. So we see the repressurization following episodes. And then as an episode begins, the deflation and repressurization. So here we are, this is episode 11 that we just experienced. The buildup after 10 started off fairly quickly and then slow down a bit before, after five days of pause, uh, erupting for 13 hours and now resuming once again. As we've seen from the US just before, they're able to offer brackets of expected times for eruptions based on the rate of reinflation here. And so today's forecast is that a new episode is likely within the next five to 10 days. And as we mentioned at the top, uh, it's been a pattern of four weeks in a row now, or four yeah, weeks in a row now where we've had um, between five and seven day pauses following less than 23 hours eruptions. So that's the eruption information. The main hazard to people is still the VOG. Here is the SO2 from the VOG measurement prediction project forecast. And you can see that the winds have been changing as we speak here. And over the next couple of days, our forecast to blow more around to the Hilo side and to catch the northern part of the island as well. Uh, so actually we're, we're looking at the sulfate aerosols, the particles of VOG, and the more pure gas is visible there blowing to the northeast as well. So even though most of that gas blew off to the southwest with the original blast and trade winds and has got caught in the onshore, offshore, and Kona, as you can see from this purple air data from the island here, it's possible that over the next couple of days, the winds will remobilize this material and bring it back across to affect more of the island than you're seeing here presently. So even though it was a short 13 hour blast of gas, it's still producing significant effects and impacts across the island. Here's a capture from satellite of the SO2 plume over the island following that episode. That's a story on Kilauea. Mauna Loa remains quiet still. Very few earthquakes at the summit. There was one slightly larger one in the northwest quadrant here. That's part of the expected recharge and reinflation pattern of the volcano as it continues to spread and get taller over time while still very low in earthquakes, as you can see here following the 2022 buildup and eruption. Here is the vertical at Mauna Loa summit showing that steady increasing rise over the last year. So Everything as normal in Mauna Loa and Kilauea continues to be interesting, and we'll await the next episode in the next five to ten days. And that's our summary for this week.